Where are we? It's really bright and white. We are in the soap shack. Sweet. <laughs> hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. Welcome to a white room. Welcome to the next part of your soap shack. Woohoo! What are we gonna do in this video? We are going to put up some molding. We are going to caulk and prep for paint. And then we are going to paint. Well, I will paint. I will do most of this. It's fine by me. <laughs> I'm the one that gets to get dirty. <laughs> well, let's go. So to start out, I am using Alex Fast Dry. And I have some paper towels. So when I use my finger to squish it in the joint, I have something to wipe it on other than my shirt. Molding's different. No, I didn't double check. I mean, this is the thing. Oh no! You got one different. Yeah, there must have been one in the wrong spot. See it? I can put it up over there. Right, we can take it back. I can get the right one. Unless. Hold up your pencil. Kind of. Alright, well, let me go ahead and. This one we'll have to cut just a little bit. Here, I'm going to pencil off of that.
the two I did the coral. Must have hit something. That's okay. There you go. Pretty easy. Alright, how bad does the mismatched crown look? Yeah, this is chair rail. <laughs> how can you tell the difference? It's flat? No, it's it's just a different pattern. Yeah, that looks ah! perfect. There we go. Alright. Well, okay. well, we can do all the quarter round. So when we were getting the molding one piece ended up different than the others. We, just, you're so well, nice. I messed up. So we are going to take it back. We looked to see if it would match close enough and it doesn't. So we will take that one back. And that is for the horizontal pieces. Um, we got all three of the corner pieces put in. And I have to say it looks really good. Once we get the other piece of crown molding and get it put in. We will be ready to paint, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Trim, caulking all of it, so, and yeah, you're ready to paint. Yay. really easy I'm glad for that now once we get that one piece put up we'll be able to finish this out and start painting question mm -hmm. why did you not want me to do window and door trim I'm fine with it looking the way it is <laughs> what did you put you on the spot <laughs> you did I told you I was gonna buy it and you said no don't worry about it you don't mm -mm. really want it no we were able to cut out the windows really well the holes for the windows and so there's not like huge off-centered gaps and stuff like that so I'm good living leaving it like it is it doesn't need to be formal like a house or anything it is a work shed so it's fine but it looks so pretty in it. it is but mm -hmm. anyway there might be some casement molding snip in the buggy when I go swap out the no that looks whatever I think it looks fine all right well you want to go to the store I guess we'll have to I'm not that picky. I know, but you know I am.
We've reached the point where Sam is out. His job is done. It's her from on out. What? No. Not all out. Sam gets to take a break while Angela calls. <laughs> huh? What? I'll just be quiet. <laughs> so we have the, what do you call that? Beautiful. The, the board on the top on the peak. Trim. Trim board. Peak. I don't know. It's, it's name up. For that. All the moldings up. I have a little bit of caulk work to do. And then we get to paint. I don't really look forward to it, but I want it done, so I'm going to do it. There's no we in paint. Well, There's no, the I we in paint is you opening it for me and pouring it. Okay. Because otherwise I'll have a white floor, and I don't really want that. You're probably going to have that anyway. I'm just saying, expect the worst. I could give it the speckled look. Mm hmm It's a floor. It's a soap shack. Okay. Well, if it gets bad, you know what you do? You um, purposely speckle you know it later. You're done talk. Let's go! Well, I got all the caulking done, and I actually swept and cleaned up a little bit. That's enough bit. talking. Let's go. This is payback. Okay, start over. <laughs> so now I am ready to paint, which means that I need my helper here to pour the paint for me. Your helper's always here. He didn't go anywhere but work on electrical for a while. Yeah. I picked up some Zinsser brand Bullseye Multipurpose Primer Sealer Paint. The main reason I got this was it was on clearance. 19 bucks for two gallons. So I picked up four gallons total. So good enough. Hopefully. Hey, better paint than what I get. Everything about this is better than what I get. Well, if you got four gallons of it, then you got enough for your place too. No, this is going to suck the paint up. It's bare wood. it for me today um, I ended up doing three coats rolling everything um, I do have to come back and do trim but that's gonna be a different day um, maybe tomorrow not sure for you it'll be the same either way it looks great I'm hoping I can get away with just three coats but it looks like there's still some spots that are gonna need maybe a fourth or something but it looks pretty awesome and it's brightened it up a lot in here. I'm kind of excited. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Who is this guy? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm the cleanup crew. Hi. Cleanup crew found the camera. They left it behind. I'm on camera. Anyway, I'll show you guys real quick how I'm going to save this paint roller for use tomorrow or the next day whenever Angel gets back out to paint. I have a gallon Ziploc baggie. Paint roller. Stick it in. I've done this before, back whenever we were working on the greenhouse earlier this year, and we had to paint, and there were a lot of times between painting, 
You stick the roll in these baggies, they will last for months. It's really cool. I should have opened the baggie a little bit further than that, but whatever. Commit now. There's no going back. All right, what I like to do is push the roller all the way to the end, just like that, and then twist it up a few times to kind of seal it in there in its own little plastic burrito. Mmm, tacos and burritos. And then I seal up what I can with the Ziploc bag just as an extra safety measure. There you go. That is how you save your paint rollers for use for another day. See ya. Handcrafted by Eileen. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Put the paintbrush together. Well, it is the next day. I didn't think I would be doing it today, but I'm kind of ready for it to be over. <laughs> Painting is not the most fun thing, but there is not much left to do. Just a little bit of trim. It looks like the three coats is going to be enough for the walls. So, yay. And I guess let's go. We can call it good enough with that. Good enough for state work. Took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> there is a tiny bit of finish up work that I'm going to have to do. Um, there's a little bit of trim around the gables area and maybe around the windows. And I may do a little bit of caulk work just on the top and maybe in some of the corners or something. But we won't have to show that. You've seen enough of me caulking and painting. Sounds like there's a little bit of conflict going on in your head as far as the level of finish. Yeah, we were kind of going over, are we wanting it to be more of like house finished, like perfect, or is this just going to be like workshop, get it done so we can get going? And I think we're leaning more towards the second because I really need to get in here with my soap and start making soap again. So get it done as quick as we can. Yep. I'm following your lead. <laughs> Just smile and nod. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> She's definitely been pushing towards the end goal much more. Whereas me, I'm like, oh, you know, I probably caulked that again. I should probably fix that. Hey, we need to, and so. And that's why I'm big on, I don't really care if I have molding around the windows. This isn't my bedroom. This is my workshop it doesn't have to have molding around the windows <laughs> well, eventually it'll just pop and just show up one day really <laughs> yes molding in a workshop is nice so along the same lines with that whole thought process um painting the bottom of the walls next to the floor what are your current thoughts on that because right now it's you know within a couple of inches where the roller would reach and someone added some paint to the floor I know, I tried my hardest. I'm like, no, I don't want it to have any paint on it. Well, it's kind of speckled and brushed here and there. <laughs> Which is funny because I told you, don't worry about it. It's a floor, it doesn't matter. Yet I'm the one obsessing about caulking all the trim and everything. I think it's because the floor is not going to be filmed. And I'm thinking like videography wise, uh, whatever. To me, a house is clean if the floor is clean. And so it probably isn't going to be clean to me in here because there's going to be speckles on the floor. Well, we could always color match the brown floor paint. True. We could do that. Although you've got some, some cool artsy fartsy white going on already. <laughs> very abstract look. <laughs> then again, you also mentioned that you would really like to do linoleum. Although I initially was like, ugh, that's going to be pricey. And we need to do that next. But you're saying it would be really done. easy because boom! It's 8 by 16. It's not like, let's cut out for a toilet. Let's cut out for cabinets. and. <laughs> yeah, it's going to add some cost to it. I know. Maybe we'll price it. I would prefer that right. over molding, though. If you do, like, a finished floor, you're going to have to do floor molding. Oh. You'll have to. True. That's all things for us to ponder and talk about off camera. <laughs> so what is the next step on the shed? Uh, we're going to have to do the outlets. Go ahead and wire them in. And I guess you'll have to do the little switches for the water heater and what was the other thing? 
Yeah, the disconnects. Yes. So yeah, next step will be more of the, I won't say rough electrical, but kind of more of the big electrical things such as wiring up the water heater and then also finishing up the actual supply power, which is the panel outside and everything. I've been working on the electrical behind the scenes and I've been filming that actually as you've been doing the work in here. I'm pretty much done with that and the next step is actually doing a really, really horrible part of digging trenches and actually running the wires and routing them and stuff. I dread that because it's going to disconnect from our workshop until it's all put back together. Yeah. Which means it'll be go time. <laughs> Get it done now. Can't have my workshop offline. <laughs> Well, thanks guys for coming along again in the Soap Shack. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And we'll see you guys next time in the Soap Shack. Bye. Bye.